Diane from Teach Pre-K and today this video is all about pumpkin and Halloween science experiments that are simple, that you can do with your kids, they're fun, they are all amazing and wonderful. Some are really quick, some will take a little longer, some you can expand into bigger things, um, but I think you and your kiddos are really going to love these. So keep watching and you will see all of them. They're amazing and I hope you add a few of them to your lesson plans. You won't regret it. Okay, so this is what you need to do this little experiment. Um, I got these jumbo marshmallows, but you can use the regular Jet Puff, like large size. You don't wanna use the tiny ones. So here's the size of the marshmallow. So that's pretty big. I have a Sharpie here that I'm gonna draw a ghost face on the marshmallow. I did order food safe markers that will be coming in a couple of days, but I really wanted to film this and show you guys because it's so cool. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna draw a ghost face on this marshmallow and I already did it just for fun. Um, and now I'm gonna take this little guy and put it in the microwave on a microwave safe plate for 15 seconds and watch what happens. Okay, here's my little guy on a microwave safe plate ready to go in the oven. I've tried 15 seconds and I've tried 18 seconds and I like 18 seconds better for my microwave. Just keep trying on yours to see what works the best. Okay, y'all, I'm about to start my microwave. 18 seconds. There's my little guy spinning around. He's gonna be cooked fairly evenly, starting to expand. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Holy moly. Oh, he opened up. And there you have it. It looks like a big fluffy meringue. This is what happened from the inside. So maybe 16 or 17 seconds would have been okay. But what's super fun is you can just let this cool down. And if you use the microwave safe or the food safe, excuse me, markers, you can have the kids eat it. And also what might be fun is to have a little chocolate chips on handy and maybe some graham cracker sections and dip it into the hot marshmallow. Ooh, that would be good. But there is a super simple, fun, little science experiment that you can do with the kids. You can explain that a microwave cooks things from the inside out, so it almost blows up and inflates the marshmallow, and then you're left with the spooky ghost. But I think this is gonna be great. I think my kids will love it. It's simple. It's fast, and if you use food safe markers, you're good. I think waterproof might even work. Just check the ingredients on the Crayola. Um, I'm sure you can find them on their, their website. But how fun is this, and what a super fun Halloween treat. Okay hey guys, I'm in my office and I have got things to make a Halloween lava lamp. Um, you just need a few simple ingredients, vegetable oil, water. I am using orange liquid watercolor, but you can use any color you like, um, or you can use food coloring too. I'm using some antacid tablets that are like Alka-Seltzer, so they're effervescent when dropped in water. I've got a jar and I'm gonna use a paint pen to make a jack-o'-lantern face. On the mason jar, you could make a ghost face, a vampire face, anything you want, doesn't even have to be a face, can just be a witch's hat, anything Halloween-y. But I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like when it's ready to go and when it's working. Okay, so the first thing I did was fill the jar about quarter filled with water added the orange liquid watercolor and I mixed it up. Next, I filled it almost all the way full to the top with vegetable oil. And I am just gonna give the oil and water 
a chance to separate. And while I do that, I'm gonna make a little jack-o'-lantern face on my jar. Okay, I drew my pumpkin face on my jar, which is probably something I should have done at the beginning, but I didn't get my jar wet, so it worked out just perfectly. So try to remind yourself to be smarter than me and draw the face on first. But I opened the Alka-Seltzer packet, broke the Alka-Seltzer in half, and now I'm supposed to see some lava lamp action. I'm ready to drop this in. One, two, three. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, I'm seeing bubble. Oh yeah, I'm seeing the orange water bubbles mixing with that oil and totally making a lava lamp effect. That is really, really cool. My kids are gonna absolutely love this. I can't wait to do this. This is awesome. Okay, my next super simple science experiment for preschoolers for Halloween um, is going to be a little spider race. We are going to take these spider rings and just cut the ring part off. So we're left with just the spider, which I've got right here. See, no ring. I just cut it off with scissors, super easy. Um, I got these cute black and white straws at the party store. You can also probably find purple, orange, just whatever you want. But I really liked these. I thought they were bold and really cute and they're paper, so they are gonna biodegrade. But um, we are going to use air through blowing through the straw to make our spiders move towards the finish line and see which spider wins the race. Okay, so here I am with my spider and my straw, and I'm just going to use air blown through the straw to push the spider all the way to the wall over there, which believe it or not, is gonna take a lot more air than you think. So if you're having your little one start at maybe one end of a table, think about their actual lung capacity and how hard this might be for them, or you can do this on a rug or something so they can kind of chase after their spider. But just for simplicity's sake for doing the video, I am going to just do it right here. Let's see, here I go. Ooh. I had to blow really hard to get him to the wall, but there you go, I did it. Okay, this little science experiment is perfect for your pumpkin unit or for Halloween. It is awesome. You can use it for your fall unit, whatever you want. Super simple, we all know it so well. Plain baking soda, white vinegar. For this one, I'm gonna hollow out this mini pumpkin and we are gonna use a pipette to squeeze into a cup of vinegar and squeeze into the pumpkin to make the chemical reaction. And therefore we're gonna get a little fine motor work for the kids as well. But they all love this so, so much. The only thing I don't have here with me right now is I like to have a little uh, paper cup plastic spoon for the baking soda so the kids can do it themselves and a little cup for the vinegar. I'm gonna go hollow out the pumpkin and show you this thing in action. Okay, I am ready to go. I have hollowed out my pumpkin. Now, these are kinda tough to cut. I have pumpkin carving tools that I use for this, which was great because these are actually gourds. Um, and they are really, really thick, but they do have this nice deep well, which is gonna be perfect for this experiment. I have poured some vinegar into a cup with the pipette, and I've got baking soda in another cup with a spoon. Now I'm at home, so I have nicer tools. If I was at school, I would just use some kind of plastic 
cups or paper cups and plastic spoons for this experiment. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna use our spoon and we are gonna put the baking soda into the well of this little hollowed out pumpkin. And then using our fun little fine motor skills, I always teach the kids to use our pinchy fingers, leave the pipette in the liquid, whether it's paint, vinegar, whatever we're using, then let go with it still in there. And then you're ready with a full dropper to start. And then just let them go. And the more vinegar they put in, the more bubbles they're gonna get and then they can add some more baking soda. And I make sure I have plenty of everything on hand so that the kids can just go to town and do this over and over and over and they love it and they have so much fun. You can even add some food coloring to the um, vinegar or dry baking soda just to make it more fun. Hi, um, this is one of my favorite things to do during Halloween. We make slime. I discovered this really great slime recipe that only needs two ingredients, clear glue and liquid starch. I'm gonna add some orange liquid watercolor to it because I want a really pretty Halloween-y kind of color. You can probably add glitter, some eyeballs, just make it interesting, maybe some spiders. But the greatest thing about this, you guys, is there's not any hot water involved. There's no dissolving of anything involved. And there's no measurement. It goes by sight and feel. That's it. So easy. Okay, so like I said, I'm not gonna measure anything. I'm just gonna put in some liquid glue that's clear and nice. A um, few drops of my liquid watercolor. I'm gonna stir that around and get that really pretty orange color. Now, a little liquid starch goes a long way and it comes out pretty fast. So I'm gonna start with just a little tiny bit, about a tablespoon's worth. Stir that around. Ooh, it's already becoming slime. Amazing. Wow. That's all I took. It was about a tablespoon. How easy is that? Two ingredients. You've got slime. I love it. Okay. I've got another fun science experiment for you. I'm going to take a Kleenex kind of smush it up a little and then flatten it back out. And I am gonna make a ghost face on it, not in the center, but a little below center. So I'm gonna make the eyes here. Actually, all I have to do is press the marker down and then make a mouth like a ghost. So we have got our ghost face. Now, I made a little magnet wand here at home out of sticky magnets and a popsicle stick, but at school, I have a ton of magnet wands already. Now, I can use any metal objects I want for this, and I've got a safety pin here. I'm going to put my Kleenex over it, then I'm going to put my magnet over and I'm gonna make a floating ghost. So I can try this uh, with lots of different things. I've got a screw right here. I'm gonna put my magnet over it and I can make the ghost float. So you can do a magnetic or not magnetic e experiment if you like um, for the kiddos because then you could put things that aren't magnetic under the Kleenex and they won't be able to make the floating ghost. So you can say, if the ghost floats, it's magnetic. So how easy was that? A Kleenex, a marker, a magnet wand, and whatever I had that was metal, piece of cake.
So as you can see, there are a ton of little science projects that you can do with your kids from now until Halloween and you will never run out of things to do. If you even do just one a day, you will definitely have a lot of fun. Now, if you can't set aside time for just science, do some of the experiments as whole group activities. The little lava lamp thing, so easy to do as a whole group activity, or even breaking the class into two groups and having an aide at one table doing the experiment and you at another doing that experiment. Um, also, feel free to ask parent volunteers to bring in mini pumpkins, and that way you can save yourself an expense. Um, the liquid starch at Walmart was, I think it was $1.97 for that giant bottle. Uh, clear liquid glue is a little expensive, but if you get it on Amazon, you will save a bundle. I got mine at Target, and I was shocked at how much clear liquid glue was. But seriously, you need so few items, and they are things you can use again and again and again. You will not run out of things to do, and your kids will learn so much and have so much fun and just go through a great scientific process and have a lot to talk about when they get home to their mom and dad. So have some fun with science during this super fun season and just let those little explorers explore.